Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I am showing you a really awesome playset that I'm very excited to have in my collection. It is a 1996 set and it's part of the Vacation Fun Collection. I guess the word I want to use, collection, yes. Um, it is the 1996 Polly in Paris. Um, I am obsessed with this. I'm actually not, a, <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Paris. Um, been there, it was okay. The museums are great. Um, I found it wasn't a very friendly city, but anyway, mm -mm, my opinion aside, I love this. Um, this this entire vacation fun series is just, it, it is quite fun. I, I really love these compacts. I love that they are styled like suitcases, but I can't wait to show you around. Let's get started. Today's set is the 1996 Polly in Paris playset from the Vacation Fun Collection, and I've been trying to get my hands on this one for quite a while now. Um, I actually won one from France for a great price, and then the seller just canceled the order and refunded me and then ghosted me. So that was fun. Um, <laughs> so thank you to Christy, um, a local collector who sold this to me. I was excited to get this into my collection and um, I have a wonderful complete set to show you. So one of the things about the Vacation Fun Collection is that they all came in something that looked like some form of luggage. So there's one that's a steamer trunk, one that's a backpack. Um, this one happens to be more of a, a traditional uh, briefcase style suitcase. And what I really love about this is if you look at the plastic it has just the poly pocket um, initials um, actually not embossed but raised from the plastic and that is consistent throughout you'll notice it doesn't actually say bluebird on the outside so it's just something that's a bit unique to this um, they all came with stickers as well that you were supposed to put on the luggage um, and this one has all six stickers which is lovely but uh, they basically tried to make it so that whatever the shape of the playset was, you got a miniature version inside for Polly. So this one does come with a little pink suitcase just like this one. I can't wait to show that to you. Um, but I just wanted to appreciate the <laughs> case for a moment because with these sets, that's half the fun. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one up. So this one is 1996, by the way, if I didn't see that yet. So. This is one of the later play sets. And if we just take this in for a moment, um, again, this is supposed to be Paris. So there's a lot of things going on. Um, I've only been to Paris once and can't even remember how long I was there for, maybe three or four days, not a long time. Um, went to a few museums, but this kind of encapsulates, I think some of the more stereotypical Paris things. It looks fancy, everything looks elegant. Uh, everything is kind of opulent. Um, they have what looks to be, um, I think a Van Gogh, a Monet and uh, the Mona Lisa over here. Um, lots of stuff going on, uh, lots of different art and everything is kind of, you know, fancy for lack of a better term. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. Um, but up in the top section here, there is, uh, I guess what you would call a balconette. Is that the right word? As if you were in the opera. So a place where she can stand and observe below. Over on the side, there's a bedroom and the bedroom has a beautiful turquoise bedspread, a vanity with a mirror. And you can see that the mirror is sort of painted silver. It's not actually a functional mirror. And then behind that we have, uh, behind the bed, what is that? Gosh, I guess it's supposed to be a window. There's kind of like greenery behind there and this beautiful purple curtain in there. So that is super cute. Um, there is an elevator in this set and the elevator is functional by moving this on the side. So <laughs> bear with me, it comes out up and down. So it's on an arm, you can actually see the arm in here as I move this. 
so the whole thing slides up and down. This part folds out, um, looks like some sort of bust statues in the window. And then there is a chaise lounge, beautiful piece of art on the wall. I'm not sure. I don't recognize that if that's supposed to be mimicking a certain artist. Um, everything is very, um, I'm trying to think of <laughs> impressionist is kind of the word I'm looking for, the style of art. Uh, lovely little side table. I think that's supposed to be a lamp. And then over on the side, a armchair, a mirror, and what appears to be just kind of like, again, like kind of like a hotel. So there is a side table with a phone and what I would guess is probably supposed to be a guest book. So then down below, um, there are some steps to a courtyard. And in the courtyard, there are a few things going on. Of course, we saw the beautiful artwork here. So that's, I think, supposed to be the Mona Lisa. Um, what I would guess is supposed to be a Monet painting. Um, this looks much like a Van Gogh painting to me. So they were kind of encapsulating the fact that they've got all sorts of art museums in Paris. And then on the side, there is a cherub statue. He's got a Bear with me while I try to get that in focus for you. He has a harp under his arm, which is quite beautiful. I think it's supposed to be a harp. Yep, yeah, it is. And then a lovely little seating area where Polly can sit and have some afternoon snacks. So that's what's going on inside here. Of course, in the middle, I should mention there's a fountain. And if we look at this, um, just a few things to appreciate. They really did bring in a lot of texture into this set. So there's a lot of texture here in the plastic, uh, brickwork here. There's beautiful texture in the fence here and the stairs, as well as on the plastics here. So they really made a solid effort in getting that all cleaned up. And um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Gosh, I'm never articulate, am I? Um, They've, they've really put this together nicely, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it's quite lovely. Um, so that is the gist of the set. I will say just looking at the stickers, they've done a fantastic job of color, bringing the stickers in to add color to the set, but they also did use different colors of plastic and I appreciate that too. Um, to kind of decipher what's going on here. I think they're just trying to play off all of the different art styles um, of the last few centuries that are very prominent in Paris, but it's really quite beautiful. Um, very heavy in the impressionism in this one. So the set comes with a lot of pieces. Um, technically it comes with eight pieces, which is pretty extreme. So the first uh, piece that it comes with, we'll start with the figure, which is of course going to be Polly because this is called Polly in Paris. So Polly is very similar to the Polly that's in the Vacation Fun Jungle Adventure playset. If you haven't seen that one yet, check out my video. But if you have seen the video, that's the one where it was a pink backpack and she's got like the Amazon River and a canoe and all sorts of stuff going on. Very similar figure in that her joint twists this way so she can move her head and she can move her hips so that's quite interesting so she's quite bendy um, which is really unique to poly figures so I like that she can go all of those directions as that's not common um, her paint is an absolutely beautiful shape look at her she has a lovely blue dress on um, she has a fancy gold bracelet, whoops, fancy gold bracelet on her arm, a turquoise headband. Her hair is in that late 90s uh, Polyville curly style that Polly had for most of the later sets. And her hands are quite interesting. I just like to note that her hands are, bear with me, they're quite different. Um, they have a different shape to them. They're quite large. And this one is in a <laughs> grip. Now that's because of the other pieces that come with the set. So there is, uh, or are, I should say, um, seven other pieces that come with the play set aside from Polly. So two of them are two pieces of luggage. 
So there's one that I would presume is supposed to be more of like a purse or carry-on and then this is more of a suitcase. So this one mimics the actual shell of the compact whereas this one is a bit different. On one side this one has hearts and if you flip it over it has just a little gold bar on it. This one is sort of consistent all the way around, looks quite plain, but it's painted to look very much like that. And the idea with these is that of course because her hand is in this grip that you can take that, whoops, clip it into place. <laughs> there we go. And it's just so cute. So she can go on a shopping trip. So I think this one is supposed to be a shopping bag, uh, whereas this one is her suitcase. So super cute. Um, she also comes with two hats. She is packed with all of her fashion. So um, the two hats, are they're super cute. So one is this pink hat that has a sort of a white trim around it with some flowers. And then this one is also a floral print, but it's white with yellow flowers and it has a bow on it versus this one. Whoops. This one has a flower on the side. So, um, so cute. Uh, there weren't very many hats that were in poly sets. Um, and quite frankly, it's probably because it's quite difficult to get them on. I'm just trying to imagine how we even pull this off. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's downright impossible. If anyone has tips on this, <laughs> let me know. Uh, they don't fit very well at all. Um, but it comes with two hats. And the other one is a skirt. These skirts are always like impossible to come across, but if we put that on, um, she can get all fancied up for her day out uh, visiting the museums. So super, super cute. Now the other two pieces that came with the set are interesting. One is the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and I, I don't fully understand this, so bear with me. So this one has a place on top that she can stand. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be her visiting the Eiffel Tower and then getting to the top of it. Um, this seems really dangerous to me. I would not recommend doing that. And the other one is an easel so that she can work on her own impressionist painting. Um, there appears to be a painting of the Eiffel Tower in there. So she's probably standing out in the park looking at it from a distance and attempting to paint it. It had some holes in the bottom and I presume that is so that it can clip in over here somehow. I probably should have looked that up better but oh yeah that does actually fit there. Um, but that's the idea so she's got this whole thing here. So the other interesting thing about the tower is that when you collapse it back down so it opens like this and then physically snaps like that. So it stays in that position and then you have to actually pop it out. There is plastic guide um, on each side and that fits in, I wanna say this way. Um, and then the idea is you can fold this down into the compact. So when you're when you're storing it, it would fold flat like that. Um, and then when it's open, I presume you could go into the compact, but you could also clip it out this way to the side, um, just as a place to stand it. But that is my best guess <laughs> with this one. Um, the fountain is quite lovely. All of the stickers are in wonderful condition on this. I'm very happy with this set, but also um, at the same time, a little bit disappointed that there's no fish pond. Missed opportunity. But um, that is the set. And you know, something that I'm finding really interesting as I look at it is just that there is no bluebird stamp that I can see. And normally there's one hidden somewhere. And I'm just not finding one, which is really interesting. Like it's not on the handle. 
doesn't appear to be inside. But at this point, oh, there it is. There indeed is one, it's just so hidden. It is, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but it's literally right here under my thumb. So it says BBT 96. So there, it was there after all. Okay, so that's the set. Now, sometimes I look at these and I just think to myself, <laughs> Am I missing something? Is there something that I didn't get? Because I, I will say I have done some videos where I've pulled up a set and I've talked about it. And then in the comments, someone's like, hey, you missed this really crucial thing in the playset. So I'm just double checking that we don't have anything missing. Um, but that's where I like to use the only Polly Pocket website. And this probably looks absolutely awful on the camera. I apologize. Um, but I always like to just double check that I didn't miss something here. Um, if you haven't used the only Polly Pocket website, do check it out. Barbara has done an amazing job with it, but it just details what's in the set. So it's only polypocket.com. Um, yeah. Oh, apparently this is supposed to be a hat shop. And um, this is supposed to be a balcony. This is a hotel. And that's really just all that's going on there. So yeah, I think that's it. There's nothing really different going on. The only really the action items aside from this is that the elevator operates and this window opens so we haven't missed anything to my knowledge if I have just let me know in the comments but really cute hat shop hat shop this is me um, I have missed something this makes way more sense now okay so she's going shopping and this is where the hat fits I mean this is a bit awkward do these move at all? No. So you can open this up and you can fit a hat in there, but that's about it. Does that actually slide in? No, not really. Can I reverse it? You know, this is one of the challenges is when you don't have the original packaging, you often find yourself just, oh, we got one on. Okay, we got one on. We're making it happen. Okay, that kind of works, that kind of works. I mean, there's no, there's no cashier till. Um, there's no evidence that it's a shop, really. It doesn't say shop on it anywhere, but uh, it is, that does work. So based on that, I presume that that information came off of the package at some point. Um, generally that stuff doesn't just get randomly made up. So interesting. Um, Okay, there, we learned something together. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite part of this set? Gosh, you know, um, I'll tell you what mine is in a second. I, I am quite impressed with this set. It's a bit odd um, in some ways in that <laughs> I never would have been like, that is a hat shop that never would have crossed my mind. But I do love the use of color in this set. And there is one thing that really particular sticks out to me. I, I also love this easel. Let's just appreciate this easel one more time. Very cute. Very cute easel. All the little paints on it. That's what the back looks like there. So you can position that. But very, very cute. And I like that you can also take that out and play with it outside of the set so that's interesting let's talk about that though what's your feeling on this what's that about <laughs> that's kind of strange do you think that this goes here I've got questions um but that's my best guess so let me know your thoughts in the comments <laughs>
Okay, so this is the set and I'm again really happy to have it in the collection. Um, thanks again to Christy for uh, finding me one and getting it together. I'm, I'm really thrilled to have this. So my favorite part, um, I actually, I love Van Gogh paintings and um, the Van Gogh Museum. So the Van Gogh Museum is in um, Amsterdam, but I love that they've just included all of this like impressionist art inside. Um, and really there's Par between Paris and Amsterdam, you can find a lot of a good art. Um, if you haven't seen the Mona Lisa in person, it's kind of underwhelming, but it's very small. Um, but I like that. I like that they've included all of this art. So I find that super cute. The whole thing is really lovely, but I think that would have to be my favorite part. So again, let me know in the comments, what did you like about this set? Um, this whole series, this collection, the Vacation Fun collection, to me is just one of the best series that the vintage Polly Pocket era had. There's a lot of just really interesting choices made in them. Um, between this one, this one is quite similar to the Jungle Adventure one in that if you've seen my video on the Jungle Adventure, the pink backpack one, um, instead of the folding out Eiffel Tower, they have like a folding out like treehouse type thing. So they've kind of used that same mechanism in a way. And I liked that um, the vacation fun stuff, there was always something you could kind of take out. So the other one that I've done a video on was Surf and Swim Island, I wanna say it was called. It's kind of like a cruise ship and an island and an ocean beach thing going on. And there's all sorts of little pieces that you can take out and play outside of the playset, So it kind of becomes a bigger thing than just the case. So I, I think that that's quite neat. Um, so yeah, that's the set. Uh, I hope that I can get some more of this 96, 97 stuff into my collection soon. Um, but it is just a little bit harder to come by. So fingers crossed that we'll come across some stuff. So really, really thrilled to have this in my collection. Um, as we're gearing up to our one year anniversary, I just like to take a moment again to just say I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you to the people that have taken the time to join in the premieres every week. Um, I always try to join as much as I can. Sometimes I have things to do in that time, so I can't always be there, but I do appreciate the times I do get to hang out with you online as we watch the videos together. So. Thank you to all of you that take the time to do that, but also all of you that are watching this at whatever time. I appreciate you being here so much and being part of this community. That being said, if you have not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, I come up with videos every Monday and Thursday, and oh boy, do I still have so much more to show you in my collection, so we are nowhere near done. Um, but I also have a lot of projects on the go that we're gonna work on together, so lots of exciting things coming up in the works so stay tuned for all of that stuff and if you are on social media come follow along on social media you can find me on facebook instagram tiktok just look up pocket vintage toys it's the best place to connect with me outside of youtube but all of that being said again i appreciate you all being here so much thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video